One of the reasons why I love K-Beauty so much is how affordable it is. You know, that has really allowed me to create quite a stash of products, and it definitely has allowed me to build a really extensive skincare routine. But that always makes me wonder, you know, what would happen if one day I woke up and my products were gone? What if I had to start all over from scratch? So give this video a big thumbs up because today I'm going to teach you how I would build back up my skincare routine from scratch. How I would do it affordably. All of these products are about $15 and under and this entire five step routine if you had to buy all the products at once would only cost you $100. <music> So one of the products that would definitely need to be included in my new skincare routine is an oil cleanser. Now I think a lot of us think about oil cleansers as purely makeup removers, but I think that they kind of go the extra mile beyond just removing your makeup. And let me tell you why I think that. So. Some days I don't wear makeup at all, I just wear sunscreen and those are great days. <laughs> but anyways, on those days, I'll tell you, I really don't reach for my oil cleanser first, I just go in straight for foaming cleanser. And recently I washed my face with my foaming cleanser, rinsed and then started to um, pat my skin with a towel and then I touched my skin for some reason with my fingers and I was like, what the heck is this? There was little like white pills on my, on my skin and I was like, what is this? And I quickly realized that is probably your sunscreen. Your sunscreen was not removed by the cleanser like at all and now it's peeling off of your skin as you're um, drying your skin off. So that really made me realize the importance of using an oil cleanser for just sunscreen removal alone. You know, you really think you've done a good job cleansing, but if you don't have an oil cleanser behind you, I can't guarantee that everything has been removed from your face. And what a horror, right, to think about layering more skincare on top of old sunscreen layers that are going to end up blocking your pores probably. So I definitely do think that, you know, you should be wearing sunscreen and if you are purely just wearing sunscreen, having an oil cleanser to remove it is not a bad idea. I also like oil cleansers because I have somewhat oily skin. My skin, my skin changes with the seasons, but my skin is pretty dehydrated and one of the classic side effects of dehydrated skin is a lot of oil production. Now with a lot of oil production comes a lot of oil based impurities stuck in your pores. I'm talking blackheads, I'm talking sebaceous filaments, and I'm talking clogged pores. Now oil cleansers can actually help to loosen and remove the oil based impurities. How cool is that? So I really like to use oil cleansers even on bare skin just to kind of help remove the impurities from my pores and to help them stay clean. So without further ado, the oil cleanser that I would use in my uh, st like startup beginner skincare routine would be the Face Shop Rice Bright Light Cleansing Oil. I have talked about this on this channel quite a bit. It is a favorite of mine for many, many reasons. So number one, this is a lightweight cleansing oil. I know a lot of us do not like heavy oils, thick oils that are hard to spread across the face and definitely not anything that when you rinse it away, it leaves kind of a heavy film. I hate that. This oil does not have that at all. As I said, it's a very light oil. It has great slip across the skin, very easy to spread across the skin. And even though it's light, like even though it seems small, it is mighty. You know what I mean? It really does take off makeup, sunscreen, and it's really good at removing the impurities in your pores really quickly. And in fact, the reason I go back to this one time and time again is the fact that when I use this oil more than any other oil cleanser I've ever used, I get more grits out of my face. Now you just said, you're like, what are you talking about? What, what do you mean grits? Like the food you eat for breakfast? No. What I'm talking about is the hardened um, sebum plugs that are stuck in your clogged pores. Oil cleansers can actually help to pop those out of your skin. If you suffer from clogged uh, pores, like a lot of clogged pores, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you, you put the oil cleanser across your face, you start to feel this like sandy grittiness. Those are the grits, the, the hardened um, sebum clogs popping out of your skin more so than with any other oil cleanser I've ever used, I get that sensation with the face shop. And that's a good thing. It means they're cleaning out your pores. So I love this oil cleanser. It takes off makeup like a champ. 
It also removes eye makeup. If you're not sensitive to uh, oil cleansers in your eye area, this removes eye makeup very efficiently as well. You'll never need to buy an eye makeup remover if you've got this one. So this retails usually about nine to ten dollars, very affordable, and this would be my choice for an oil cleanser. Cleanser is obviously a no-brainer. It's very important, especially if you're going to be doing the double cleansing method, like I am in this routine. And there are so many affordable cleansers on the market in the K Beauty world, but you know what I'm about to say if you've been following my channel for a little bit. You know my preference on cleansers is that they must be low pH, right? Low pH cleansers are essential for every single skin type and every single skin concern because using a low pH cleanser just maintains the health of your skin. Maintaining the pH level on your skin is vital for healthy functioning skin and you can ward off things like um, excessive oil production, dryness, tightness, stripped feeling on your skin, acne, clogged pores, if you are consistently maintaining the pH level on your skin and one of the easiest ways to do that is by using a low pH cleanser. There's quite a few choices in K-Beauty when it comes to low pH, but one of the ones that I really like that I can rely on time and time again is the Purito Defense Barrier pH Cleanser. This is a great cleanser. This includes a touch of tea tree oil. This is really good for uh, those who suffer from acne prone skin, who have a lot of inflammation or redness on the skin because tea tree is just a really great way to help reduce inflammation. But unlike some tea tree products, which can almost go a little overboard on the tea tree and it's it becomes astringent and almost drying on the skin, this is actually balanced out quite nicely with royal jelly, which is a really nice moisturizer on the skin. So it really helps maintain your skin's moisture levels, maintains your skin's pH balance, but does have a little bit of that anti-inflammatory uh, benefit to the formula. Now this is um, a pH 5.5, which is the perfect ideal pH level that we want to see for a low pH cleanser. And this one retails um, around $10 to $11 depending on where you get it from. One of my very favorite skincare products that I absolutely could not go without, even if I was starting from scratch, is a toner. Now, toners are beneficial for all skin types. It can help every single skin type, but because my skin type is dehydrated, it's especially helpful. Now, hydration is not sexy. It is not exciting, right? You know, when you think about skincare goals, you think, brightening, you want glowy skin, you want to lighten dark marks, uh, maybe anti-aging, smoothing your skin. You know, you want visible results and hydration doesn't necessarily give you visible results, but hydration is really the key to all good skin. Uh, hydration is definitely important and when you want to like boil it down to the most simplistic concept when it comes to like doing skincare good, I guess, how to win the skincare game. When you boil it down, it really comes to maintaining your skin's oil water balance. It seems really simple and easy to do. It's not. It's really not. But when it comes down to it, you really want to just think about balancing out your skin because a lot of skin woes, a lot of skin problems really do root from imbalances from the skin and it definitely is going to come back down to that oil water balance. So adding a lot of water into your skin is essential for every skin type. Balancing the skin is very important, but when you have dehydrated skin, those balances are just way off. So for me, I really need a lot of hydrating steps in my routine. And that's why I really love toner, because it's one of the easiest ways to deliver a lot of water into the skin and get it plumped up and hydrated and comfortable. So the toner that I would choose is going to be the Secret Key Aloe Soothing Moist Toner. Guys, this retails for about $12. It's a huge bottle. This has some really great, beautiful hydrating ingredients. We've got aloe, but also secret most people don't know there's actually a little bit of snail secretion in this one as well and I know a lot of you guys out there are snail fans including myself deeply hydrating watery toner that is accepted by the skin immediately it just absorbs it right up now the other reason why I want to place emphasis on toners for pretty much everybody when you when you watch my routines you've probably noticed that I do put a lot of layers on my skin and some people are like whoa you put a lot of layers on lady and I'm like I know it seems like excessive, but my skin is so thirsty. I really need to feed it a lot of hydration to get that balance back up. You can certainly do that with all different kinds of products and all different kinds of layers, but is it necessary? Absolutely not. You can do this um, very effectively on a budget with just a toner. Following the seven skin method is going to give you just as much hydration as 
a basket full of products would. I promise you, this can really be an amazing multitasker for you. Basically, it's just layering up the toner until your skin feels good. You can put on multiple layers of this toner. It doesn't need to be seven, it can be less than that, but this can be a really great way to replace a lot of products in a routine with just one product. This is also a great trip, uh, this is a great tip <laughs> if you're traveling if you really need to like slim down on your skincare products that you're bringing with you bring a toner and it can replace your essence step it could even replace your serum step so it can actually do a lot for you if I were to take a poll of everybody's favorite skincare products right now I think the one that would win is serums now serums are a great treatment step because serums the way that they differ from essences and toners is the fact that serums contain highly concentrated ingredients that really target your skincare goals right so serums are a great way to target any kind of like troubled area on your skin that you want to address so I would definitely include a serum step in my beginner or starter routine and the one that I'm gonna go for is from Mizan this is the original skin energy hyaluronic acid 100 now I love Mizan as a very affordable and solid brand that just delivers when it comes to effective products and they have a pretty huge serum and ampule line and I would stand behind pretty much all of them and I especially also enjoy their snail one and the collagen serum so if hyaluronic acid isn't really on your menu for your skincare goals they definitely have some other ones but I'm gonna choose this one because this is gonna be great for my dehydrated skin and like I said hydration may not be a very sexy skincare uh, benefit but you know what it does create really good skin and hyal hyaluronic acid just really draws a lot of moisture to your skin and hydration to your skin all day long very effective for dehydrated skin types and this would definitely be the one that I would choose to plump up my skin keep my skin looking firm juicy and choke choke now as I mentioned Mizan has a bunch of different options for you to choose from so you certainly can kind of cherry pick the one that works for your skin best but all of the serums and ampules in the Mizan line do retail for about uh, $14 um, or under which I think is very very reasonable so everybody needs a final layer in their skincare routine something that's just gonna kind of like finish everything off kind of lock it down in place and just make everything sort of come together right and every skin skin type is different so your moisturizer needs are going to be different some people like just some people like just using aloe some people only use oils some people like heavy creams some people like lighter creams it really just depends but when it comes down to dehydrated skin there is an oldie but a goodie that I just fall back to time and time again that is very affordable and spoiler alert this one's not K beauty this is actually J beauty but I think it's okay because it's all in the family, right? So this is the Hada Labo Gokujan Hyaluronic Cream. Now, I really like this stuff. It's about $13, very good deal, and this is just going to pump your skin up so much. I love it. It makes your skin so juicy. It really does um, moisturize your skin, but it also has that good oil water balance that we're talking about again, so it's going to be very balancing for... It's also going to be very good for uh, combo skin, I think, as well normal skin will like this oily skin if you're not super duper oily I think you'll like this too um, it might be a little sticky uh, for very very oily skin types but generally speaking I really like this one it's very affordable it just plumps your skin up with hydration all day long makes it feel very very comfortable and it's an amazing cream for an amazing deal now, even though moisturizer may be the layer that locks everything down, it's not your final step when it comes to your morning skincare routine, right? We're missing one very essential step here, and that's sunscreen. Now, sunscreen, you knew we were not going to finish this routine without sunscreen. This is a beginner skincare routine, and there has to be some sunscreen in it, because here's the thing, if you care about your skin, if you're investing this money into all of these steps in your skincare routine and you're not putting on sunscreen and then go outside, just stop spending your money on skincare because it's not going to be doing anything if you don't protect yourself from the sun, right? So I love Asian sunscreens. I think pretty much everybody here loves Asian sunscreens. We've, we've, we've been converted, right? I'm preaching to the choir. 
The reason why I like them is they're cosmetically elegant. They work well underneath makeup. They don't irritate your skin. They don't make your face look, you know, three shades whiter than the rest of your body. They, um, you know, they don't pill or feel really heavy or greasy like a lot of Western sunscreens can. Am I right? And if you do find all of those in Western skincare, they can be pretty expensive. Pretty darn expensive for sunscreen protection, but it's not like that in Asian beauty because I don't know if they've just had the patent on the technology for so much longer. They've just been doing it for so much longer that the technology is just not as expensive to get the formulas right. But regardless of what it is, it's just a lot more effective. It's a lot more protection. It's a lot more comfortable and it's a lot more affordable. So even though sunscreen is very individual and it's kind of hard to find the right one for you, it can be anyways. One that I want to single out as being a great budget option hold on, hold on to your horses here. It's $8. $8. It's such a good deal. I'm talking about the Apu Pure Block Daily Sunscreen. This is um, SPF 45 with a PA plus 3. This is very good coverage. $8. You can't get much better than that. Um, and this is going to fit perfectly into our effective and affordable routine. So those are the skincare steps and products that I would use to rebuild my routine if I was starting all over from scratch using the knowledge that I've gained through the years on my skincare journey. If I had to replace all of my products, products with just these, I had to buy all of these all at once, this routine would cost $101. That is an amazing deal. And as I believe I mentioned before, every single product we mentioned is $15 and under. These are excellent products that are really going to perform and go the extra mile for you. So if you are on a budget, you can definitely do a great skincare routine for $100 or even less. So let me know in the comment box below, what is that one essential product that you could never live without in your skincare routine? Let me know in the comment box below. Like I said before, mine is definitely toner. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I release two new skincare videos every single week, and if you turn on notifications, you will never miss the next time I upload the new video. And if you're on Instagram and you're not already following me, come on over to Instagram, give me a follow, and don't forget to say hi. I have a link to my profile in the info box below. I hope you guys are having a really beautiful day. I absolutely cannot wait to see you in the next video. Talk soon. Bye, guys.